We appreciate it. Merci pour ce débat très riche. Just the Thank you for this excellent, very rich debate thus far. Our three rapid reaction sessions, and I want to start with you, Mr. Mulcair. The NDP is a strong proponent of spending more on foreign aid. Many Canadians, though, I think want to know, Mr. Mulcair, why we should spend billions more when we have so many urgent problems here at home. Make that case to the country. Well, I think that it is a fundamental Canadian value to do more, to help the, the neediest in the world, to help on issues like international uh, cases of poverty, help build democracy in the world, help defend women's rights. Those are core Canadian values. And don't forget, we've dropped by about half uh, our, the percentage of our gross national income that we're dedicating now uh, to foreign aid. We're down to under 0.25 percent, which is lamentable compared to other countries. I mean, David Cameron's Conservative government has brought that country up to the 0.7 percent. That will be the goal. We'll set a timeline for that with an NDP government to get us to that important goal of 0.7 percent, because Canadians understand that it's only by investing that we can help democracy, that we can help alleviate poverty, but importantly as well, we can help build Canada's standing in the world. We've lost that. There was an important yeah, document Mulcair, leaked I wanna, today that I shows we've lost a lot. I want to stop you there because this is a rapid reaction session. Gentlemen, let's have a three-way debate on this topic. Qui commence? Uh, I'm going to begin. Uh, I'll begin by surprising a few people, especially after this latest exchange. I would like to congratulate the Prime Minister for his initiative for maternal health. Canada made a commitment and is really changing things with regard to maternal health throughout the world. But it won't surprise you to hear the fact that I deplore the fact that there's 80 percent of mothers who die because of unsafe abortions, and we must take steps in this area as well. The Prime Minister is a prisoner of his ideology, not doing everything we should be doing to help mothers and the most vulnerable throughout the world to remove people from poverty. This is why Canada must recommit to help the most vulnerable based on science, based on best practices and not just based on ideology, which too often is the choice of the Prime Minister. During our mandate, our government has done much. Our humanitarian assistance has increased by 15 percent. But we're always concerned by the fact that this aid must be used in an effective and responsible way. And for the vulnerable. Led on, we're very proud of, is our child, maternal and newborn health initiative. We have been able to assemble an international coalition of, uh, of countries, of international organizations, of private foundations to, lo to with, frankly, with often minimal investment, uh, to dramatically reduce uh, child and maternal mortality in the developing world. This is something, as Canadians, we're a very wealthy country. It's something we can do, we know is effective, and we're very proud of doing it. And I know we have lots of needs of our own, but it is in our broader interest that we, out, that we help people around the world when we can and when we know that that aid will actually be used uh, responsibly and effectively, and that's what we're always committed to. Mr. Mulcair, please join. Dans les pays dont on est en train de parler... In the countries we're discussing, there are more than 47,000 women who will die for lack of access to a safe abortion. We know that today, rape is not only a weapon of war, it has become a strategy of war and warfare. We must be realistic and put an end to this doctrinarian reproach, approach that excludes a whole series of rights for the women we wish to help in these countries. Mr. Harper, for ideological reasons, is refusing to take steps categorically. I do not accept that Canada not act dealing with these fundamental issues and problems. This government is helping with health care services. It's very generous in this regard. But clearly, our plan aims to rally the world. You can't, uh, you can't go out in the world and unite the range of countries we have and independent and third-party organizations, NGOs that we have, and get into that kind of a debate. You need to concentrate on the things that unite people. Saving the lives of mothers and, and, and their newborns around the world is a cause that has united people on which we have made a real progress, and we need to keep going in that direction. It's something we should be very proud of. As the last word to Mr. Trudeau. In the area of international aid, Canada isn't doing as much as it could do. Unfortunately, we don't have the commitment we used to have. 
Nevertheless, as Mr. Harper mentioned, we do have extraordinary NGOs that do exceptional work throughout the world. Canadians involved in Médecins Sans Frontières, Doctors Without Borders, Engineers Without Borders, etc. And it is our duty to re-engage across the planet because we have a constraint constructive contribution to bring. This is what we must continue to bring and to do to help the most vulnerable throughout the world. Merci. Let's move on to our second uh, topic.